Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Carolyn Myers from Bendex Technologies, biotech, a sector we are watching. And you had breaking news yesterday about a breakthrough in nanotechnology with a film that repels and kills bacteria. How about I let you tell our audience how important that news release was? Thank you. Yeah, well, let me just tell you a little bit of uh, the background. Um, it, it, we, it, we licensed the original technology from McMaster in 2021. And over the next two years, it was clear that we needed to reformulate um, to, to, to put together a, a nanotechnology formulation that would be amenable to scale up. And so, uh, you know, in collaboration with McMaster, that's what we did. And so one of the formulations that we came up with was one that both repels and kills. I mean, our original formulation and the one that, you know, we are currently moving forward in production with Dunmore, our film manufacturer, who's doing scale up development is a repel film. But through this whole process, we, we uh, discovered this uh, film and, the, and components of it that actually kill as well as repel. And the, it's a, what it what it encompasses is a product that has a, a photoactive nanoparticle in it. It's called titanium dioxide, TiO2 is what it goes by. And not only does it work as a linker in the whole chemistry to create the, the repelling surfaces, but if you put it in, in um, if you expose it to, to light, just regular light or UV light, it also kills. So uh, our, our films, as it relates to repelling, they repel quite significantly. Uh, it, it, this publication actually showed that the combination of TiO2 and fluorocarbons to make our surface uh, repel or prevent adhesion of bacteria by close to 99.8%. So that's pretty close to 100%. But if you do have residual bugs, so that other 0.2%, it will kill those bugs up to 99.6%. So surface is almost like, uh, you know, invincible, like nothing will adhere to it. Uh, but just by virtue of the fact that these surfaces repel by close to, you know, 100% in this particular case, 99.8%, uh, we're still going to continue down the road of developing uh, repel wrap film, which is uh, the product that just repels or prevents adhesion of bacteria and viruses quite significantly. But in the background, we'll still be looking at this repel and kill version as we move forward. So we're pretty excited about the results. And that's why we put them out, because Quite frankly, I don't know of any any films out there that repel, first of all, but also repel and kill. And potentially the combination might be uh, a better than a repel version or or a kill version of films. But, um, you know, we're getting pretty good results with our repelling um, properties today. So that's where we're going to continue moving down that road. And for those of you out there with your pen and paper trying to put this all together, let me just reinforce what Carolyn has just said, which is basically, and, and correct me if I'm wrong here, you've got, this is a specific mechanism where you take your photoactive nanoparticles and the fluorocylane, is that pronounced properly? You can, you, yeah, fluorocylane or fluorocarbons, yeah, it's a fluorocarbon combination, yes but these are basically activated by so, light exposure and yeah, so, film and they work together to both repel and kill bacteria which is really your which is the exciting and competitive advantage that we're talking about not to mention the percentage of reduction in bacterial uh adhesion is that correct right. yeah so let me just explain how how this how this works um so basically you have your film which is like the equivalent of saran wrap, right? And and what you do is you you activate the surface of that that that's film, and then you attach the nanoparticles. And in this case, we we attach the TiO two to it, and and then on top of it, you put the the fluorocylane. And then once the chemical reactions have all happened, happen, then you heat shrink it, and that's what creates the surface. So. 
you can you and and the TIO too. They're called linkers, so it's linking the 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 floor styling to the actual film, and and so you there are all kinds of different linkers you can use. I mean, originally we were using um, a, a Aptes, which is I'm not even going to tell you what that is because it take me five minutes to say what Aptes means. <laughs> But, you know, we, we're also looking at other linkers. Um, it, the floor styling is really important from the repelling standpoint. It, it is very important, but you need all of these components together in order to make that surface uh, with the properties that, that you know, we desire, which is, you know, this 99.9% um, prevention of adhesion of bacteria. So can you tell us how the film's uh, efficacy in reducing bacterial contamination compares with existing surface protect protection technologies, particularly in high risk environments like hospitals. So there, there are other films out there, and they work very differently than we do. They actually kill uh, bugs on the surface. They, they all have uh, you know some sort of uh, either photoreactive or uh, metal ions in them. The ones that are probably most known are the ones that have silver or copper in them. And those, those are, those surfaces are known as being antimicrobial that when the, when the bugs actually stick to the surface, cause they can stick to the surface and they start replicating, they will be killed by the, by the metal, by the metal ions. Uh, whereas ours, because they can adhere they can't replicate because they have, you know, the bugs have to, they have these little feelers that they have to hold them to the surface in order to replicate. And if they can't, if you don't have the, if you can't attach to the surface, it's, you can't replicate. And so in our case, because you can't replicate, the, the level of transmission is significantly reduced. With regard to the other films, because they are killed on the surface, they do have to replicate. And so what I've always said is that there's still a potential window of opportunity that you might get transmission um, and cause, and you know, it caused the, the bugs to be transmitted to uh, 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 between person to person. But at the end of the day, those films are also very effective. They, you know, they've shown that they can reduce um uh, they can kill up to like, you know, in the high nineties as well, but it takes time. Whereas ours, again, nothing sticks to it. So, and instantly. So as soon as something tries to attach to the surface, it, it can't replicate. And so we, you know, that's, that's our, that's the foundation, uh, of, of our technology and why we're so excited about moving forward with it. Well, sir, certainly, it does sound incredibly exciting. Our investor talk audience was very excited about the wide ranging applications. And with the ongoing development of the Repel Wrap film, what are your anticipated applications of this technology in commercial and public settings? And can you comment on when this is expected to be widely available? So our, we're, we're developing two different um, uh, products. One is a film and one is a spray-on of the film. The spray-on of the film is a little bit earlier in development. And our film is, is our lead product, which currently is with our manufacturing partner, um, Dunmore International, uh, where they're doing the scale-up development work. And uh, you, you may know, I mean, part of the reason we started this whole company was actually not because of COVID, I hate, I hate to say it, <laughs> but it was because uh, of the fact that there are a number of pathogens that thrive on surfaces that if they are transmitted, they can cause disease and potentially kill people. You probably know some of them, uh, MRSA or MRSA, C. difficile, and others, some of the E. coli uh, strains also, you know, can be very virulent um, or, or uh, and, and potentially kill. So, uh, it, 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 so that's the reason we started the company. Our film, the idea is that we'll create films of different sizes and shapes to go on door handles to not not knobs, but door handles and on railings on flat surfaces to protect those surfaces. And uh, we we are really excited about the spray because 
if we get to the point of being able to scale it up, we anticipate that it will be easier to apply and expand uh, the, the opportunities beyond what we're looking for with uh, repel wrap film, which initially is healthcare, potentially other high touch surfaces and other high traffic venues. Uh, but the, the, the spray may be able to apply to number one, more, more uh, uh, high touch surfaces like actual doorknobs, taps, et cetera, and potentially go beyond high touch surfaces in terms of applications. Well, I, I just want to add one more item, you know, that I that I heard you say in a, in a conversation recently with some investors. Um, you know, you have been involved in building some very successful companies, and you you were disclosing the organic growth path path pathway you're setting for Fendex Technologies. But you also included the fact that your background includes a very successful M&A licensing experience. Um, can you talk to, uh, talk to our audience about how this may impact your role as a CEO for Fendex and how you may integrate that into your existing role? Yeah, good question. I mean, I, it, it, it's, it's one of my passions. Right? I've done a lot of work in the M&A and licensing area, having worked in, in senior roles in some of the large cap pharmaceutical companies uh, in, in the corporate office. And what I what I know from having been involved in these companies and looking for external opportunities is that you cannot grow just through organic growth. Like we have a we have a pretty nice pipeline, but I know that uh, you, you need to complement it with potential M&A or licensing opportunities, which is what we're doing now. We're exploring uh, a, a few opportunities um, that we may bring into the company, and hopefully we'll be uh, putting out some releases in the near future with regard to that. Uh, and, the, you know, what we're looking for are products uh, for acquisition or licensing that will be complementary to what we're doing today, which is really... Uh, pre preventing the spread of, of potentially pa lethal pathogens and, and just uh, under the umbrella of infectious disease control is what we're really focused on. So having done a lot of M&A and licensing in my past, I've probably done 50 plus deals, some sort of, you know, various transactions. Uh, I, I, uh, I know this area well, and I, and, uh, you know, again, it's one of my passions and it, 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 in my opinion, absolutely essential to success of any company, you know, that wants to continue to grow. Carolyn, thank you so much for joining us today. And remember, Vendex Technologies repels and kills bacteria. If that doesn't make you go to their website, I don't know what does. Thank you so much for joining us today. That was great, Tracy. Always nice to join you.